Hi, welcome to my channel and today we are going to learn how to design a COVID-19 vaccine using Benchling. But before we go through Benchling, let's see a little bit the replication cycle of the coronavirus. So I'm gonna open up this image and here is it. Here we have the virus that binds to a host cell through a receptor called ACE2, in this case in a human cell. Then the virus gets into the cell through endocytosis and releases the genomic material. The first step is the translation of viral polyproteins. They are polyprotein 1A and polyprotein 1B. And through proteolysis, it generates smaller proteins that step forward to the replication transcription complex. This is where the genomic RNA is replicated and the transcription of structural proteins is made. The next step is the packaging process which assemble virions that get out of the cell through exocytosis and they are ready to infect other cells. What we are going to use from here is the spike protein. That is the green one that you see around the virus. We will take the spike protein and put it into a plasmid that is going to be expressed into the human body and the immune system will make specific antibodies against this protein, the spike protein. So when the real virus get into the body, the immune system will be prepared and will recognize this protein and will destroy the virus. Now let's take a small look on how mRNA vaccine works. Once we have the plasmid with the gene of the spike protein, it goes through a process of transcription and purification. Then it is encapsulated into a lipid nanoparticle. When this nanoparticle enters the human cells, it uses its machinery to translate this messenger RNA into proteins, in this case the spike protein. Then here starts another complex process of the antibodies to recognize this spike protein. Now let's start designing our plasmid construct in Benchling. I am going to use this plasmid. I am going to leave the link in the description. I got it from Adjin. And I am going to use the complete genome sequence of the COVID-19 from the NCBI page. So let's go downstream the page and copy the entire sequence to put it into Benchling. Right click, copy, go to Benchling, click on create, DNA, RNA sequence, new DNA, RNA sequence, and paste the sequence in basis. Make sure you have selected the linear topology and I'm going to give this a name. And click on create. Now let's find the spike protein sequence and we can search it in the NCBI page. Let's spike and it is here we have the gene of the spike protein the coding region that is from 21,563 to 25,384 let's copy this number and let's find this region in Benchling. Twenty one thousand five hundred 
this is the tree and here we have the star codon ATG which encodes for methionine so let's select until 25,000 384 and here we have the stop codon TAA let's create an annotation on spike protein I'm going to give it a color and click on save and it's done. Now let's design our primers to this sequence. Let's work on our primers to make a recombinant plasmid with the gene of the spike protein. Remember that the gene of interest must be downstream the promoter and upstream the terminator. In this case, in the plasmid we have the TEF1 promoter and the CYC1 terminator. And we also have the multiple cloning site and we are going to use two restriction enzymes which are SPE1 and SH01. So let's work on the primers. Let's go to the sequence of the spike protein and select 20 base pairs from the start codon. Right click, create primer, forward. I'm going to highlight the restriction enzymes. They are SPE1 and HO1. Let's select the first restriction enzyme here and copy the sequence and paste it there. And let's add a later sequence. It's done and let's select primer pair. Now let's go to the reverse primer. Remember 20 base pairs from the stop codon and set from selection reverse. Select the second enzyme copy the sequence and add a little sequence everything looks fine so let's give it a name primer forward and primer reverse choose folder and click on save primer pair Okay, now let's click on create PCR product. And let's work on the recombinant plasmid. Let's go to the plasmid, click on assembly wizard, create new assembly, digest only gate, select backbone and select the two restriction enzymes in the plasmid. Right click and invert selection, set from selection. Now click on the insert. Let's go to the PCR product and select the two restriction enzymes, set from selection, and looks like everything checks out. Click done, put a name, recombinant and click assemble and it's done we have our recombinant plasmid with the spike protein ready to make a COVID-19 vaccine